Let's get cracking. I want you to give this guy a warm welcome. He's absolutely brilliant. Go wild and crazy for Pete Latham. Come on! Good evening. How are we doing? It's lovely to be here tonight uh, in Brighton. Lovely to come back here. Although I'll be honest, uh, I'm feeling a bit sad tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I just ended a five year relationship. It wasn't mine, but. <laughs> Never nice, eh? But the good news is my mum's in the audience tonight. Yes, yeah. Yeah, apparently Dad was worried it embarrassed me, so he left when I was three. <laughs> Drastic. Eh? I've got two brothers, uh, one older, one younger. Two of us are married, the other one's not. People find it strange that I married my brother, but hey. <laughs> we had a lot in common. Yeah. No, my wife is in the audience tonight. I uh, yeah. haven't actually met her yet. <laughs> Ooh, uh <-huh. laughs> you know when you just get a feeling. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> no, I am married. I uh, took my ring off for the sake of that gag. <laughs> Hope it's worth it. I take my ring off for two reasons. One is to do jokes like that one. And the other is to cheat. And when I get home, we play this game, joke or cheat. <laughs> Keeps her on her toes. But I actually think my wife might be cheating on me, though. I came home early from work the other day. I noticed a pair of jeans on the bed that didn't belong to me. And inside those jeans was a man. Suspicious, huh? <laughs> Not the first time something like this has happened. On a separate occasion, I came home early from work and noticed my wife lying on the bed. And inside my wife... <laughs> ...was a man. <laughs> Very suspicious. <laughs> Something's going on there. It has been a tough week. Uh, Mum called to say the family dog had died. Yeah, she said he's in heaven now with your nanny and granddad. Horrible way to find out your grandparents were dead. But <laughs> we all pass on news in our own way, don't we? I was actually there when my other granddad died. died reversing off a cliff. <laughs> Sadly, my, uh, my other nan, she also died in a car accident. I still remember the last thing I said to her. Text me when you get on the motorway. Never got that text. <laughs> but it's amazing what you can find out about your family, isn't it? I went on findyourancestors.com and I discovered that my great, 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 great granddad had a stutter just like me. Who knew, huh? <laughs> My wife and I, we have two beautiful daughters and another daughter.
They're nine, eight, and four. That's not their ages, that's their ranking out of ten. <laughs> I told someone at work that joke the other day. It freaked them out a bit. <laughs> It's quite fun freaking people out, though, isn't it? One thing I think I will do to freak someone out one day is when, when you're at a theme park and you get off the roller coaster and you're in that bit where you're buying photos of yourself on the roller coaster, I want to queue up behind a family buying their photo and then at the last minute pop my head in and say, yeah, I'll have the same one as them, please. <laughs> on a T-shirt. And just follow them around with it on the rest of the day. <laughs> what? Or even better, buy one of the photos of the empty carriages that had no one on. <laughs> then when he hands you the photo, turn to no one. <laughs> and say... It's a lovely one of you, that is. <laughs> yeah. Caught your good side, yeah. But I never understood why we, buy, why we collect photos of ourselves looking petrified on roller coasters, you know. It's not like we collect other photos of us shitting ourselves through life. We don't have photos on the wall like, this is you getting mugged. Oh, God. Oh, God. The knife. Oh, God. You when you thought someone was breaking in the house. Oh. The duvet, you know, you nearly shat all over it that night. Yeah. <laughs> this one when the plane was going down. Oh, we're going to die. Oh, God, I love it. <laughs> Fantastic. It was turbulent, you pussy. <laughs> okay, what else can I tell you? I, um, I was brought up quite religiously. Tom's been talking about uh, religion and stuff. I was brought up religiously. But you come to question it as you get older. Like I was reading about some of the miracles in the Bible. And I don't think they were necessarily a good thing for everyone involved. Like the one at the wedding, where he turned all the water into wine. I bet Summer at that wedding was a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> that was like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> nice one, Jesus. <laughs> That's me back on a slippery slope. Hey. <laughs> just want a very well thought through miracle. What were the kids supposed to drink? <laughs> kids just necking wine, puking up all over the dance floor. Parents holding their hair back like, oh, nice one, Jesus. Fuck's sake, who invites him? <laughs> Some of his miracles weren't for the good of anyone. Like walking on water, who was that for? Just giving it the big one, wasn't he? Look, how am I doing that? Look, <laughs> 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 look at that! Feet aren't even wet. Oh, forward hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you think, what was his persona when he was doing these miracles? Was he humble about it, as we always presumed he was? Or was he a bit more cocky, you know? You know, like, oi, mate, you know you're blind and that. <laughs> what about now? <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. They working now, yeah? <laughs> well, check them out there. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. What's that? Lazarus is dead. <laughs> you want to double check? <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Nah, you good. Nah, tell Lazar that's on me. See you later. <laughs> nah, I don't want nothing. <laughs> nah, you good. <laughs> you all right there, son? What's going on here? You having a little party? Sure you got enough bread? <laughs> <laughs> what about now? See you later. <laughs> Should be enough, shouldn't it? <laughs> tell your mates. Tell your mates. I love the thought that when we get to heaven, we realise that God was just a cocky twat all along. <laughs> He's there leaning on the pearly gates like, not tonight, mate. It's one in, one out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only fucking with you. Oh, shouldn't swear. Get in trouble. Or will I? Of <laughs> course <laughs> I won't, mate. I'm the boss, Randy. Come through, come through. Mind all the bread. <laughs> just, just been practicing my miracles. <laughs> this is my dad, but he's also me. 
confusing, I know. We like it that way. That over there, that's the Holy Ghost. Shut yourself. <laughs> nah, that one's made up. Scare the kids. <laughs> Keep coming through. Mind the paddling pool. I don't have to. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> How am I doing that? Am I <laughs> I'm like Dynamo, am I? What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't even know, mate. Right, heaven's through there. One rule. Just keep the noise down. For Christ's sake. <laughs> had to do it, had to do it. Now, just before I go, um, I'd just like to... Uh, my dad, he did leave when I was young, as I said at the start, but he came back into my life, and he came to my first ever stand-up gig, and at the end of the gig, he, he didn't say anything, he just handed me this note, always keep it with me. I'll just read the end of it to you now. He said, son, people will tell you that you're not good enough, that you should give up. Regards, Dad. <laughs> You've been lovely. Thanks for having me. <laughs> good night. On, Pete Latham, there he goes. This night's been absolutely fucking brilliant, hasn't it? Yeah. Let's hear it one more time for all you actually saw in that section. Yeah. Tom Black, Ariel Sumar, and Pete Latham. It's time for your second interval. We'll see you soon. <laughs>